Chapter 12 The Revolutionary Movement The agitations against the British imperialism were carried on in different ways in India. One of them was that of armed revolution. In this chapter, we shall get acquainted with it. We have studied the pre-1857 revolts against the British power and the national uprising of 1857. In the period after the uprising, Ram Singh Kuka had organized a revolt against the government in the Punjab. In Maharashtra, Vasudev Balwant Phadke, with the help of the Ramoshis, had organized an armed struggle against the British. The plague commissioner Rand had resolved to tyranny and coercion in the course of containing the epidemic of plague in Pune in 1897. The Trafikar brothers shot him dead in revenge. At about the same time, the Munda Adivasis in Bihar also rose against the government in a great revolt. After the partition of Bengal, the anti-British feelings intensified further. Revolutionary movements much wider in scope emerged at a national level in place of local revolts. The youth charged with revolutionary ideas started forming their own secret organizations in different parts of the country. Their main objective was to terrorize the British officers, to paralyze the British administration, to remove the awe and fear of the British government from the minds of the people and to overthrow the British rule. The revolutionary organizations were particularly active in Mumbai, Bombay and Bengal provinces. Abhinav Bharat Swatantravir Vinayak Damodar Savarkar founded Mitra Mea, a secret organization of the revolutionaries at Nashik in 1900. This organization was renamed as Abhinav Bharat in 1904. Swatantravir Savarkar went to England for reasons of higher education. From there, he began to send revolutionary literature, pistols, etc. to the members of Abhinav Bharat in India. He wrote an inspiring biography of Joseph Mazzini, the famous Italian revolutionary. He wrote a book entitled The 1857 War of Independence, wherein he stated that the revolt of 1857 was the first Indian War of Independence. The British government came to know about the activities of the Abhinav Bharat organization and arrested Baba Rao Savarkar. He was sentenced to life imprisonment. In revenge of his punishment, a youth named Anant Lakshman Kanhere shot dead Jackson, the collector of Nashik. The government started arresting all those who were connected with Abhinav Bharat. Linking the Jackson killing with Swatantravir Savarkar, the government arrested him and initiated legal proceedings against him. The court sentenced him to 50 years of rigorous imprisonment. Revolutionary Movement in Bengal In Bengal, a revolutionary organization called Anushilan Samiti was active. The Anushilan Samiti had over 500 branches. Barindra Kumar Ghosh, brother of Aurobindo Ghosh, was the chief of this organization. This organization received counsel and guidance from Aurobindo Ghosh. The Samiti had a bomb manufacturing center at Manik Tala, a place near Kolkata. Khudiram Bose and Prafulla Chaki, members of the Anushilan Samiti, drew up a plan to kill a judge named Kingsford, 1908. But the carriage at which they threw the bomb was not the one carrying Kingsford. Two English women were killed in this attack. Prafulla Chaki shot himself with a bullet. Khudiram Bose was caught by the police. He was hanged. In the course of the investigation of the case, the police learnt about the working of the Anushilan Samiti. They started arresting the members of the organization. Aurobindo Ghosh too was arrested. But the government was unsuccessful in linking him with the making of bombs and the court acquitted him. Other members were sentenced to long terms of imprisonment. Raj Bihari Bose and Sachindranath Sanyal spread the network of the revolutionary organizations outside Bengal. They set up centers for revolutionary work in the Punjab, Delhi and Uttar Pradesh. In a daring act, a bomb was thrown at the Viceroy Lord Hardinge 
by Rajbihari Bose and his associate. But Lord Hardinge escaped unhurt in this attack. Revolutionary work was going on in the Madras province also. The revolutionary Banchi Ayer killed Ash, a British officer. He then shot himself with a bullet and sacrificed his life. India House The revolutionary work in India received help from Indian revolutionaries abroad. India House in London was an important center for such assistance. Pandit Shamji Krishna Verma, an Indian patriot, had established India House. This institute used to grant scholarships to Indian youths for higher studies in England. Swatantrivi Savarkar had received such a scholarship. Madam Kama raised the issue of India's independence at the World Socialist Conference held at Stuttgart in Germany. She had unfurled the flag of India in this conference. Another revolutionary connected with India House was Madanlal Dhingra. He shot dead Curzon Wiley, an English officer. In consequence, Dhingra was hanged. Gadar Movement The revolutionary activities against the British gained momentum during the First World War. The revolutionaries believed that it would be possible to bring about a change of power in India by taking help from Britain's enemies and that the Indian soldiers would support them in this effort. Revolutionary organizations were formed with a view to taking advantage of this opportunity. Of these, one of the main organizations was Gadar. Indians living in America and Canada had established the Gadar organization. Lala Hardayal, Bhai Parmanand, Dr. Pandurang Sadashiv Khankhoje and other revolutionaries were the main leaders of the organization. The word Gadar means revolt. Gadar was the name of the journal of the organization. Through the columns of this journal, the adverse effects of the British rule in India were explained in detail. It also gave accounts of the daring deeds of the revolutionaries. The Gadar journal gave the message of love for the nation and of armed rebellion to the Indians. The leaders of the Gadar organization decided to take advantage of the situation resulting from the war. They prepared a plan of revolt in the Punjab against the British. They induced the Indian soldiers in the British army to join in their revolt. It was decided that Rush Bihari Bose and Vishnu Ganesh Pingle would lead the revolt. However, the British got wind of the plan due to treachery and Pingre fell into the hands of the police. He was hanged. Raj Bihari Bose succeeded in managing his escape to Japan where he continued his revolutionary work. The revolutionary movement was active in other countries during the period of war. Virendranath Chattopadhyay, Bhupen Datta and Hardayal prepared anti-British plans in Berlin in cooperation with the German Foreign Ministry. In 1915, Mahendra Pratap, Barkatullah and Obedullah Sindhi had established a provisional government of free India in Kabul. Kakori Conspiracy The repressive measures of the British government could not put an end to the revolutionary movement. When Gandhiji suspended the non-cooperation movement, many young Indians turned to the path of revolution. Chandrasekhar Azad, Ram Prasad Bismil, Yogesh Chatterjee, Sachindranath Sanyal and other revolutionaries came together to collect funds for revolutionary work on 9th August 1925 they whisked away from a train the government treasure that was being carried in it near Kakori railway station in Uttar Pradesh this is known as the Kakori conspiracy the government took swift action and the revolutionaries were put in prison they were tried and Ashwakulla Ram Prasad Bismil, Roshan Singh, Rajendra Lahiri were hanged. Chandrasekhar Azad, however, eluded the police. Hindustan Socialist Republican Association The young men influenced by socialist ideas decided to form a nationwide revolutionary organization. Prominent among them were Chandrasekhar Azad, Bhagat Singh, Rajguru and Sukhdev. All these revolutionaries were secular in thought. In a meeting held on the Feroz Shah Kotla ground in Delhi 
in 1928, these young men founded an organization called Hindustan Socialist Republican Association. The main objective of the organization was to free India from British exploitation. It also aimed at overthrowing the unjust socio-economic order which exploited the peasants and workers. Bhagat Singh gave importance to the creation of a society based on social justice and equality. A separate wing of the organization was entrusted with the tasks of acquisition of arms and implementation of programs. This wing was called Hindustan Socialist Republican Army. Chandrasekhar Azad was the head of this wing. Members of this organization carried out many revolutionary activities. Rajguru and Bhagat Singh shot dead an officer named Saunders in order to avenge the death of Lala Lajpat Rai. The government had introduced two bills in the central legislature curtailing civil rights. In protest against the bills, Bhagat Singh and Batukeshwar Dutt threw bombs in the central legislative assembly. At once, the British government raided the centers of Hindustan Socialist Republican Army. Through this, the police also unearthed some clues relating to the killing of Saunders. The government started arresting the revolutionaries. They were tried under the charge of sedition. Bhagat Singh, Rajguru and Sukhdev were hanged in the prison at Lahore on 23rd March 1931. Some were sentenced to life imprisonment. Others were sentenced to long-term imprisonments. Chandrasekhar Azad, however, eluded the police till the very end. Later, he died in an encounter with the police in Alfred Park in Allahabad. After the death of Chandrasekhar Azad, the revolutionary movement in the provinces of the Punjab, Uttar Pradesh and Bihar began to wane. Chittagong Armory Raid Surya Sen was the chief of the revolutionary group at Chittagong in Bengal. He had gathered a group of loyal revolutionaries like Anand Singh, Ganesh Ghosh, Kalpana Datta and Preetilata Vaddedar. With their help, Surya Sen drew up a plan to raid the government armory at Chittagong. As planned, the revolutionaries seized the arms from two armories in Chittagong on 18 April 1930. They destroyed the telephone and telegraph lines and succeeded in paralyzing the communication system. Thereafter, they gave a thrilling fight to the British Army. Surya Sen and some of his associates were captured by the police on 16 February 1933. Surya Sen and 12 of his associates were sentenced to death. Kalpana Datta was sentenced to life imprisonment. Preeti Lata Vaddedar killed herself rather than falling into the hands of the police. The Chittagong revolt gave an impetus to the revolutionary movement in the country. Shanti Ghosh and Suniti Chaudhary, two schoolgirls, killed the district judge while Bina Das, a young woman, fired bullets at the governor in the convocation ceremony of Kolkata University. Sardar Udham Singh killed Michael O'Dwyer in England in 1940. The revolutionary movement has made an important contribution to India's freedom struggle. The revolutionaries displayed daring and determination in their fight against the British power. Their love for the nation and their attitude of sacrifice were indeed incomparable. Their sacrifice has always been a source of inspiration to Indians.